this is Jolting Jonathan from Mad Science of Southern Massachusetts in Rhode Island. Today, I want to blow something up. Okay, you ready? There, I've blown up a balloon. So I've got my balloon, and then I want to do something a little silly. So I'm going to take this skewer. Now, first thing I'm going to do with this skewer, though, is I'm going to just I'm going to dip it in a little water. And I do that just because that's how I roll. Now I'm going to take this skewer and I'm going to jab it into this balloon. Ready? What do we think is going to happen? Most of you think it's going to pop, right? Well, it didn't pop. Why didn't my balloon pop? And then, if you look really close, right here. My skewer is straight through the balloon. How is that happening? Well, it's actually happening because the balloon is made out of rubber, and rubber is a polymer. Now, some of the air is escaping a little bit. The reason this is happening, though, is because the balloon is made out of a polymer. And polymers are substances that stretch. They stretch, and when I stick the skewer through this balloon, it stretches. And at the top of the balloon, and at the bottom of the balloon, if you notice, it's a little teensy tiny bit darker. That's where the balloon and the rubber is actually a little bit stronger. And that polymer is going to stretch a little teeny tiny bit more where it's stronger. So when I stick the skewer through those stronger parts, the polymer is going to stretch and it's going to seal around that. But because it does that, I want to try something. I want to use this zip top bag. And in this zip top bag, I'm actually going to put a very dangerous chemical. Ladies and gentlemen, I am going to use this chemical called dihydrogen monoxide. Now, I need to warn you before we use dihydrogen monoxide, you need to know dihydrogen monoxide can actually be a very dangerous chemical. Dihydrogen monoxide is a very powerful oxidizing agent. Dihydrogen monoxide can cause metal to rust. Dihydrogen monoxide also, if inhaled, can cause death. As a matter of fact, dihydrogen monoxide can account for thousands of deaths every year and is known as one of the major ingredients in acid rain. Um, as a matter of fact, the other day, uh, where I live in Rhode Island, um, there were some pretty bad storms, and the dihydrogen monoxide levels were so high, they were actually advising people, please do not let your children or your pets outside because of the dihydrogen monoxide levels in the air. Kids, please do not be worried. Dihydrogen monoxide is actually water. Water will cause metal to rust. If you do not know how to swim, you can drown. Be careful swimming, kids, okay? Also. Acid rain is made out of water, yeah, water. Also, it was raining, so you couldn't go out and play. Don't let the dog or the cat out because it was raining. Yeah, I'm going to take this water, and I'm going to pour it inside this zip top bag. I'm going to pour my water inside my zip top bag. So I've got my water. I'm going to pour it inside the zip top bag. Am I going to use that skewer? No, I'm not going to use that skewer because I use that skewer on the balloon. I want to do something different. I don't like to repeat myself. You guys know that. I don't like to repeat myself. So what am I going to use? <laughs> I'm going to use a pencil. I'm going to use a really, really sharp pencil. I'm gonna, that pencil's not even sharp enough. I want to use a, ooh, that's a good sharp pencil. Look at that pencil. Look at how sharp that is. That's a really, really sharp pencil. Can we see that? Oh, which camera? Oh, which camera? Oh, look at that. Look at that. I'm driving my camera guy crazy. All right, so we've got this pencil. It's a really, really sharp pencil. All right, are we ready? <laughs> Look at this, the people in the studio are freaking out right now. They're like, Jolting Jonathan, what are you doing? What am I doing? I'm going to do that. I'm just going to take that and I'm going to drive it right through there like that. What is going on? It's a polymer. That bag is a polymer. When I push the pencil through, the polymer stretches. When it stretches, it then seals around that pencil. So let's see. Let's take another one. Let's push another one through. It goes right through. Let's take another one. Let's put another one through. Let's put another one through. Now, the only thing I want to be very careful is, is I don't want my pencils to touch. If my pencils touch, then I do run the risk of spilling and making a huge, huge mess. But as you can see, I've got three pencils right through that bag, just like that, all because of the polymer nature of that plastic zip top bag. Guess what? I normally say something. I normally say, don't try this at home. This week, try this at home.
I want you to try this at home. But first, do me a favor. Talk to your grown-up. Get your grown-up to help you. This is an experiment I want you to try at home. Get your grown-up. Grown-ups, if you're watching this with your kids, go get your kids. Watch this with them. Then sit down with your children and do this experiment. I want you to try this. Get a good sharp pencil. But do me a favor. Do this over the sink because sometimes if you're not a professional like I am, it's going to make a mess. But this is an exciting experiment you can actually try at home, and I want you to try this at home. But there might be experiments that you don't want to try, but you want to know how it works. For those experiments, I want you to send me an email. I want you to send us an email. Send it to us on Facebook. Send it to just our regular email address. You can find that on our website. Send that to us. Let us know what experiments you want to see us do. I want to say thank you to our friends here at Bristol Community College who've been letting us use the studio. Our friends at Fall River Media Center for letting us use the studio and helping us out. Thanks to my buddies up there in the studio. They've been awesome letting us come in, filming. We've got a camera crew and everything, all these awesome cameras helping us out. And I've been driving them crazy, jumping around, doing all this kind of crazy stuff. Thank you very much. Thank you guys for watching. Once again, Jolting Jonathan, Mad Science with Southern Massachusetts and Rhode Island. I'm going to see you guys soon with some more exciting science videos. Thank you very much. And by the way, if you guys do this at home, record yourself. I want to see your experiments. Let me know how it goes. I'll see you guys soon. If you want to know something, send us an email on Facebook. Send us an email to our website. 